Eid Mubarak to all our Muslim viewers and happy holidays to everyone. I hope you had enough meat to feast on. Now, talking about meat, <laughs> social media users are reacting to reports that Sokoto State Government spent 28.7 million naira on cows to feed orphans on Salad Day. Now, this annual event by the government through the Zakat and Endowment Commission is to encourage wealthy individuals to support the less privileged. Mala Mohamed Maidoki, the Zakat Commission's chairman, who monitored the process on Saturday, said that each of the 87 districts received 330,000 naira each. He added that the gesture was part of the government's effort to support the orphans and less privileged in the state. And here are some comments from the ground. Keep them hungry every day, but feed them closer to election period so they remember to vote for you. This government weaponized hunger and poverty, says Mel Kassin underscore one. Now, that is little girl says it should be his personal thing. Now he wants to take advantage of Sarah and vulnerable people to loot money. And here is another one from Very Wicked Aboki. <laughs> Why is the government not using the money to create opportunities so the orphans can actually feed themselves? Valid question, right? Well, let's move on. Nollywood power couple Jocker Silva and her husband Olu Jacobs have been trending on social media following a recent video that showed the popular actress styling her husband for his 80th birthday photo shoot. I'm sure you've seen that video online. Well, in the video, Joke Silva was adjusting her husband's agbada and rearranging his neck beads as he smiled to show his approval. Now, this heartwarming moment had fans, fans gushing all over their relationship and praising the veteran actors for their love bond. And as a result of cuts on social media, it has sparked conversations around standing by a spouse through thick and thin. Now, recall that Joke Silva revealed in November last year that her husband had been battling with dementia for a couple of years. Yeah, so these are yeah, some reactions to the recent video from the birthday photo shoot. Our Yaya Britons will be giving us bad impression about marriage. As if say, no be the same industry, Olu Jacob and Joke Silva Day. Now, she's talking about don't compare yourself with those marriages that are breaking. Compare yourself with Olu Jacob and Joke Silva. They've, you know, they've been through it. <laughs> And a cultable says, young ones will not look at Olivia Cows and Joker Silva. Yeah, another comparison. As a yardstick for marriage, they would rather look at the young ones that are getting divorced because of sexual related issues. These people have been through it. Unoma says, I am looking at pictures of Jacket Silva and Olu Jacob and I am just grateful for the kind of love that they share. The actual definition of in sickness and in health. Remember that vow on wedding days? Yeah, this love thing is not easy, but it is worth it. Okay, okay. Motivational speaker, motivate me. Now, the South African movie industry is currently in shock following the news of the passing of actress Busisiwe Lurai. News broke earlier today that the How to Ruin Christmas actress passed away on Sunday, July 10, in her home. The family has requested privacy during this time as they come to terms with the tragic news and lots of South Africans are pouring their condolences on Twitter. I liked this lady, not just her acting, which I loved, but her energy and her vibe were on point. Gone too soon, both we'll say. We lost her at the age of 35, just so you know. And then Miss Elephant says, I know how great she was on How to Ruin Christmas, the movie, but I'll never forget how she made me laugh on Sestopla together with Mandla. R.I.P. to this talented woman. Hashtag R.I.P. Busi Rai. And here's another one. This one is the reason I watched How to Ruin Christmas. Rest in peace, Busi. Rest in peace, Busi, from all of us. And that's all for tonight's Nancy Trends. Thank you for watching. I am Sean Bankali. Thank you.